Welcome to Tea Time with Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, I have my co-anchors here with me, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife. Why do I do this? I'm Benny Ark. Are you missing him? I do miss him. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay. It's understandable. It is, right? It's just it's right. because there's a rhyme, right? Yeah. And uh, the they are the couples of the show. Yeah. I miss it fair. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> moving on to the main story. Some of the couples we know are the reasons we are still single. And this is coming from Toby Bakri. He said, and I quote, it all looks um, beautiful, but you see all that really exists in there, and you're like, nah, that can be me. End of quote. <sighs> Benny. Toby Bakri. Respect to what no, he said. Toby Bakri. Bakri. Oh, it's Bakri, not Bakri. Mm. Now, with respect to him, um, you could choose to use someone else as your reason and excuse for not doing what it is you need to do. Mm -hmm. As much as a, it's a valid concern, but it works differently for people. The fact that some people are in there and probably they're not having a great time or they're unhappy or they're making a mess of the institution, whatever it is, doesn't necessarily mean that's what everybody's story is going to be in there. Mm -hmm. So to totally use that as a reason, as a valid reason not to do what you want to do. That's mm -hmm. if it is what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hold. That's like blaming somebody for your being in the state where you are and you're not happy about it. Mm -hmm. And so Toby Bakari, I'll say if Toby Bakari, if you're interested mm -hmm. in getting married, you want to get married, look away from those people. There will always be people who don't give you reason, who don't inspire you to do what you want to do. But that shouldn't stop you. If you really have interest in getting married and want to be married, and make yours a different story. So go in there, write your own story, and let it be different from the stories you're saying that you're not so pleased with. Mm. I mean, I totally agree with what you've said. Uh, there are millions of couples out there that are living happily. They're happily married, yeah. and you're fine. Why not look at them and don't look at the people that are making it look like marriage will never work for anybody or is a terrible thing to go in? I mean somebody else's life will not determine what you would do. Because um, people go to Big Brother house and they don't win. Why didn't you decide not to go to the house? Mm -hmm. Do you get? You don't let other people's life determine what you want to do, like you rightly said. So I feel Toby needs to focus on the positive side and ignore the negative side mm -hmm. and do whatever he wants to do. Marriage is not for everybody. We need oh, to know yes. that. But, yeah. <laughs> 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 but oh, there are yeah. so many people out there that marriage is for them and they are living their best life. So right, Toby, I'm laughing. Why are you laughing? Why? <laughs> she told us this morning that she, she told her mom out of jokes that marriage is not for <laughs> everybody. <laughs> and it was a it serious was a drama. But you're not talking about that. Marriage is not, of for, everybody. Marriage is not for everybody. Not mm -hmm. everybody will get married. Not everybody can be married and not everybody should be married. Right. Yeah, not everybody will stay married. Not everybody but will stay married. But I like that married. he used some. He said some couples we know are the reasons um, some of us, maybe some of them, his people, are mm. still single. And I, I wonder why. But then the fact that I use some means that there are people that are good, right? And I'm wondering where this is coming from because the Toby we know has a brother that is popular and is recently married. And I mean, we look at their pictures and it's like, oh, this is really cute. Mm. So you tell us there's more. And that, because when it comes to marriage and relationship, we most times are expected to um, follow the footsteps of our immediate family members, right? Mm. It's when it doesn't look awesome that you then start looking for something outside of your family or your space mm. to hold as inspiration. So if you have, I, I know there's, there was a video, I think it was posted by Toby too, of his parents. And they were advising people, I think they were celebrating, was it 30 years of marriage or mm -hmm. something? And they were celebrating and they were advising people on how it works and what they should do, what they should not do, right? And just a um, few weeks after that, um, his elder brother got married. So are you saying your family is not enough example? Are you saying the beauty we see in Femi and his wife, it's there just... is so much more? Mm. So you say when you see them outside of the picture, you're like, nah. So. What, is he trying to give us tea? Because we love to spill tea. Oh, tea yeah. So well, he maybe. needs to come out to let us know who his, who, he, uh, who his role models are mm. and what or how they have disappointed him. Because some doesn't cut it for us here right, right, now, right now. We need the juice. We need the juice. Okay, moving on. Um, I want my old life back. Um, this is coming from Reality TV star Messi Ike as she cries out. So um, I'm taking it to her fan. <coughs> Oh, it's not like I'm a <laughs> fan, but I just like her personality. I like the way she undoes herself. Mm. And, and that's her backside. 
<laughs> I know you do. And if I may ask, how does she handle herself? Man, I feel like she's, even with the way people say stuff about her, uh, she's still very confident. Mm. Mm. That's what I like her, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But then moving on with this, uh, I think uh, maybe I kind of understand how she feels because it's really not easy. Fame can be very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I would use um, Kim's words. There was a time she said, being famous, yeah, it's not as glamorous as it is with media houses and there are a lot of people out there that don't even care. They're very insensitive. They can say anything to you. They're all about the business. You know, and it's not easy to have somebody dictating what to do at this time, controlling your life, but... Messi, you're in it already. You need to grow with it mentally. If you, she's already in the game, if she wants to, she wanted it, according to her in the video, she wanted it, and now that you have it, you need to grow with it and understand that it works. So if she's, sorry, so she said, if she said she wanted it, mm. then it means um, it's, it's, it's not something she stumbled upon because mm -mm. even all through her stay in the house and when she came out to speak, she was deliberate about it. I think she mm. was the same person who came out to talk about her going into the house because of her ex-boyfriend who is popular mm. and left her for someone who is no, also popular. Going no, to the house, she already so, She already it. wanted mm. to be a winner, right? Mm. So I think when you have this set of plan to be a celebrity of some sort, you should also have time or find out ways to research and understand the kind of stress and tension, including pressure, that comes with being a celebrity. If it's if this is a young star, like Ife would always say, mm. I mean, they, they became a star from a, a very um, tender age, or maybe because mm. their parents were celebrities and they had to be celebrities, but you, this is is premeditated you knew this is what you wanted to do right so she should grow up and like you said grow up mentally with it mm. and enjoy it no I, I get it might be planned you know there's so many things that we want but it's until you get yourself into it then mm -hmm. you realize how it is like she probably she was probably saying how other people are and then she thinks that it's easy it's just it's not just me getting and ignoring people saying negative stuff about me and focus but when you're is when you're in it you know that this is real business and it's not just a joke mm -hmm. so i feel i totally get how she is and if it's getting too serious for her and it's affecting her too much i think she should slow down ignore any kind of competition they're trying to put her into and focus on her own self if it's not what if you know i mean there's some things that you're into something and at the end of the day you figure out that maybe this is not even what i want at the end of the day you can always you know back out and do something mm. else so okay benny you know this is life and it doesn't have a dress rehearsal mm -hmm. you're never you're never too ready mm. you're never prepared too prepared for anything. Right. Let me let me let me let me play the devil's advocate and be on the side of Messi for a moment because I was gonna say at first, please. I mean, give me give me the 30 million hour cash and 30 million hour water <laughs> of consolation prizes and I'll take any kind of pressure. Mm -hmm. Yes, she wanted it, and just probably she never thought it was gonna be this level of pressure mm -hmm. she's going through right now. You can't tell. There are a whole lot of demands. You know, everybody everywhere wants a piece of you. Mm -hmm. And so she probably was not emotionally, mentally ready for it. And so she's in it right now. She wanted it quite well, but she probably is finding out now it's deeper than I thought. Mm -hmm. I wasn't ready for all of this. Mm -hmm. You know, and like you rightly said, so she needs to find a way, a coping mechanism. Mm -hmm. And I pay out team money, but they need to do well and find a way to shield her yeah. from things that are not necessary at this point in time. She mustn't honor every invitation because right. somewhere within I'm thinking she feels she, she feels indebted. She feels indebted to everybody. Mm -hmm. And because, because of you people that I want. So she needs to come to terms and say, you know what? Yes, it was my life. It was your entertainment. You guys voted for me. So you, you, she needs to learn to say no. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of no's need to come into it. Choose what's okay for you. Because one important thing for Messi, for someone like Messi right now, is a mental state of being. Yeah. She can't compromise that. And so if you have to say yes to everybody, it will, will mess you up. <laughs> um, you're going to go through a mental breakdown mm -hmm. and... That won't be too good. Okay, I'm glad you two are advising her, but I'm just saying, not for Messi now. If you're watching us and you're hoping to be a celebrity, please understand that it is not just about putting up pictures on social media and being mm. cool. It takes, it takes a whole lot. A whole so lot more you, should, you, you should research before you make that decision. It's time for a quick break, but when we return, we definitely have more to discuss.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. I still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. I music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. Veteran comedian Ali Baba, in an interview with EFCC, has urged the commission to not um, spare any of his colleagues in the entertainment industry who uses his or her platform to encourage internet fraud, as Yahoo, known as Yahoo Yahoo. He tasks his um, colleagues to use their profession to rewrite the narrative in the fight against corruption and urge them to stay out of crime, adding that the EFCC should not take it lightly um, in dealing with entertainers who encourage crime, especially cybercrime. <clears throat> I mean, I totally agree with him. Not just entertainers, anybody that is supporting crime. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're as um, evil or you're as dangerous as the person committing the crime. Marias. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, mm -hmm. I totally agree with Ali Baba. He okay. spoke the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> After all, your, your head of the, of the Malian. <laughs> Movement. Movement was 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 a victim of. Um, oh yeah. Yes. And it was dealt with. Mm. 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 Okay, Benny. Well, well, well said, Ali Baba. You know, and Ali Baba, I've always seen him as one who stands up for what is for what right. is right. Mm -hmm. You know, and his political correctness sometimes beats my mind. If you follow if you follow Ali Baba for a for the longest time, there was a period when people used to say a whole lot of new things on on twitter and all that and he, he started his hashtag you know about i'll block you if you come on my page and say something that's not right he's always been the premium proper kind of person that's how mm. he comes up to me mm. you know so i'm not surprised that this is coming from yeah, him i think he blocks anyone you know? that does not agree with him no, it's, it's not no, just no, no, not agree right. if you come on his page and say something that is out of order you know that's probably not politically correct politically correct or mm. you know it's against norms and and order he definitely will block you. He gives that warning. Yeah, so which is what I'm that's saying. why yeah. then that means she's you right. To, yeah, but that you is have to be on his side of the table. Because or you I won't condone. On his this page. is it. It's like you have a philosophy. Mm -hmm. All right, and the philosophy you're living, you believe that people should not commit cyber crime. And somebody's telling you that, telling you that there's no work and we have to do this thing. That means you and I would not share the same values. Mm -hmm. I don't need you. You know, so I have the right at that point in time to block you. If we don't share the same values, we can't get along. They say, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. Mm. And so if in a friend of five people, I'm, I'm friends with five people and they're all into cybercrime, please, now what is the possibility I'm not one? Well, but this is not you know, just about cybercrime. I, I was yeah, going to say, let's take cybercrime out of so, things. So, yeah, Alibaba has, he has a thought pattern. Mm -hmm. You can say it's from the old school. Mm -hmm. There's some things that we do presently doesn't sit well with him. Mm. But he's not totally off. He's not totally wrong. But on this issue, I'm 101% with him of on that. Of course. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he didn't say anything wrong. He said mm -hmm. it right in the right way. I mean, nobody would have done but, it better. But you know, you know, this is it, right? We can't... The, the old school people would always be with us. Mm -hmm. They would always be with us. Now, let me, let me, let me dive out a little bit. People who say these guys who commit cyber crime, it's called stealing. I was brought up to know that if I steal, it is wrong. That I cannot steal somebody's property, property mm. somebody's stuff. Mm. Now, where will the people when does and leave them, let them do what they have to do? The government has not provided them job. You're telling me to allow somebody steal that it is okay. The same thing going for women who sleep around with money and uh, for men mm. with money. They tell you, they, they don't call it prostitution these days. They call it wrongs. They give you different kind of names. You know, they, they call it, um, what's that word? There's, there's a sweet word they use for it right but now. What's your Transactional that, sex. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What's know? the problem with that? This is it for me at the end of the day. I mean, mm. my parents, our parents brought us up to know that it is wrong. Mm -hmm. And if you call a woman a prostitute or a harlot, it's derogatory. Mm. But it's been made fasterful. It is okay now. Mm. So I ask those people at the end of the day, when you finally have kids, I hope it will be okay if your boy, if your son is, is a fraud star, is a thief. 
And I hope it's okay if your daughter also sleeps around with, with men for money. I hope so you they, wouldn't have they any problem with that. You know, cybercrime now is people sleeping with men for money. No, I'm talking about things that are against the society, norms. the norms that people do that we're now finding like very Like you said, we are fanciful. diverting, but I don't think I'm in the mindset to have this conversation right now because. So he, he, I, I was, I say to say that because mm -hmm. he speaks, he speaks about things like that. Is he, he speaks against things like that? Mm -hmm. You know, when you said um, that he blocks you off once you don't agree with him, mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. I mean, he's from the old school, and so you can't take that away from him. Okay, but it needs to be more open-minded. I mean, we're having a conversation and people are yeah. trying to learn from yeah, you. Yeah. So as long as they're not insulting <laughs> you, they're not derogatory, yeah. why go that extent? You to, can always have conversations know? with people. You don't have to block them. And school them, teach yeah, them. That teach is why them. Make them the understand elder. why you think this is right. But it's okay. I mean, on this topic, I mean, he's spot on. <laughs> Reality TV star Ella recently announced her decision to quit music over limited source at her disposal. However, it seems former housemate Avala took her um, took to her Twitter page to drop some messages and fans are saying that it was insensitive and it might be a shade to Ella. Now, I don't know, but um, they're saying the shade is over her decision to quit music. So here's what she said. If you are too busy waiting for people to help you out, I feel sorry for you. Don't wait for nobody to push your dreams. It's your life. Stop looking for handouts. Do your legwork and leave it to God. Most of all, never give up. You can't please everyone. Do it for yourself, end of quote. So um, I don't know how they were able to link this to being a shade to um, Ella. Mm. I can't see the shade. Yeah, me too. But you even know. if it's, it is a shade, it's a good one at that. She, I feel she should take that advice. You really can't um, go out there and waiting for somebody to just come and help you. You have to pursue it. You have to chase it. Nobody's going to come and hand anything do. over mm -hmm. to you. I understand that maybe the music industry is very crazy and everybody's just trying to, you know, get on top and you can oh even if you don't have money to fund that now do other things i mean we've seen people that probably got um nine to five jobs to fund their business you can focus on something or else do some passion yeah or to fund their passion you know just do something else and at the end of the day don't give up your passion or your dreams to be honest if this if this is something that you think about every day mm. don't give up on it you can focus on something else for some times do it get money and fund your dream I think Avala was right on this. She just gave the right advice. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> okay, for me, yeah, I, I I understand the part of don't give up on your dreams, don't give up on your passion and stuff like that. But I think we all reserve the right to say, you know what, I'm done when you want to be done. Let's not take that away from people. Like, as much as you want to pursue and hustle and go out there, do the leg work, do the head work, there are people that have done more head work than whiskey in life, but they can never be a whiskey, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm not saying, I mean, if I'm taking away, I, I want to take away the whole shade from this because I don't feel like Avala is shading her. Mm, so right. I'm saying her advice is valid also. It mm -hmm. is spot on. You have to work for what you want. Go out there. And in going out there, you network. People see for you for the value you mm. have. And your opportunities get um, wider, right? But let's not take the ability for people to give up. We talk about mental health. And I mean, when you've gotten to that point where you feel like you can't take this anymore, you can actually give up. It doesn't mean you can't pick it back up in the next 10 years if she has some kind of money and she feels like... Yeah, that's my point, exactly. But right now, her Focus word is, on. she's saying she wants to give up on it. Mm. Please let her. Let me bring an instance of something that happened earlier this year mm -hmm. when YJ came out and said she was done with music. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we're like, ah, she can't, she can't, she can't do this. Because she gave a, a, a very valid reason. Mm -hmm. Music was not necessarily like paying the bills. Music, probably she felt, you know what, I'm putting so much into this craft and I'm not seeing... The reward. Mm -hmm. At that point, she said she was done. Everybody was like, no, she cannot. I'm like, no. At this point in time, the most important thing for YJ is her mental state of being. And if she feels she can't comprehend, she feels overwhelmed, let her take a break. Then, mm -hmm. if somewhere down the line she realized, you know what, okay, I shouldn't have said that, I want to come back, then she's allowed. I mean, that's what he said. It. Allow people. Let people be. Mm -hmm. Because when, she, stop, when she came on the show, she was a guest on the show, yeah. and then we brought that up and said, was that in any way, shape, or form a publicity stunt? She said no. That she was really done. Yeah. It is the team she has now that actually came. And, and they are friends. You know, they came to, to her to make her understand that, okay, we'll do this, we'll do this. This is how we'll make it work. And they decided to try again. So, I mean. If you if you watch um, Ella's video, mm -hmm. she said that she's if she gets any help, 
she would continue. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. There's nothing wrong. We all need help. Mm -hmm. we, we're all where we're in life. <laughs> we're we're all, there's nothing wrong in asking for help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's human to ask for help. Mm -hmm. So don't let anyone make you feel if you're asking for help that there's something wrong with that. And so if Ella calls for help and there's anybody out there that can help Ella, of course. it's only human. It's in our humanity to help people. Mm -hmm. So please be of help to Ella. But if the help is not coming, focus on something else. Yeah. You can always go back to your passion or dream later on. Okay, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And you can join the conversation by using the hashtag Tea Time on social media or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Watch Tea Time on Auto TV and also in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to Michael Ankos, Benny Ark, and Ewa Oluwa Ritu, and of course the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying, have yourselves a good day. Thank you.